telling you, Kirk, you want ratings to go up? More leg. Welcome to Politics, everyone. I'm John Pollock. Today, I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process of passing a bill in Congress. What's that? We have a guest? Live via satellite? Hey, joining us right now, live, Brandon the Truth Vera. Now, Brandon, I'm sure some people want to ask you about your last fight with Keith Jardine, but I really don't care. Let's talk a bit about the 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama. I'm not Republican or Democrat or whatever. I just, I believe in that man. Uh, he speaks well. I did vote for Barack, and this is the first time I've ever voted, ever. Now, what about the hottie that came out of this election, Sarah Palin? What did you think about Sarah? She's a joke. Like, I was just watching all her interviews and her answers, and then the, the parody that they did on Saturday Night Live about her was almost not really a parody. It was almost them just playing the interview over again. That lady's nuts, bro. <laughs> all right, well, who would have you chosen to be the vice presidential candidate? Frank Trigg. Frank Trigg, I would, I would, yeah. Frank Trigg, uh, Couture. You know what you could have done? You could take Randy Couture as the running mate for Dana White in 2012. Imagine if Dana White ran the United States. I think we would be clear of debt. We would probably own probably Canada and Mexico. <laughs> oh, we probably own Canada, Mexico, and South America and everybody else will be paying us royalties for us not to invade their country. Now, I have George W. Bush on my limited profile, and I know he watches all of my politics videos. What message do you have for the outgoing president? Am I allowed to cuss? Absolutely. <laughs> George Bush, get your shit, get the fuck out, man. I'm glad you're gone. I'm, I'm, I wish you would've never made it in the last, the last four. Get the fuck out, man. Don't do no more policies. Don't try to change shit before you leave. Just get the fuck out, man. You heard what the man said, it's time for me to get the fuck out.